Did you know that you have two different identities? You have a human identity and an online identity. Although they sound similar, they are quite different. Your human identity can consist of your hobbies, where you were born, gender, ethnicity, or talent. Let's talk about your online identity. Your online identity is associated with a name. It's either your real name or your username, which is a fake name. Some things that could define your online identity are what you wrote on social media, such as YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or Reddit. Or what actions you took during online role-playing games, such as League of Legends, World of Warcraft, or Second Life. Let's talk about the username situation. If you decided to create a new username, your new online identity will be associated with that name. Either you'd be a girl, a boy, a dog, or a cat, no one will know who you are online. Your actions online will always be linked to your name. For example, a potato officer decided to write a mean message to Cat for Life. Because of this, Cat for Life could tell others that Potato Officer is a mean person. This will then cause the name to have a negative view on it. Let us replay the scene again. This time, Potato Officer is now going to respond friendly to Cat for Life. As a result, Cat for Life could say good things about Potato Officer. Now let's talk about what happens with your real name online. Your online identity connected to your real name is basically things written or said about the real life you on the internet. You can reveal any information about yourself on the internet. These information will create your online identity for your real name. You can easily control your online identity. One way to do this is to write about yourself on a website, or create a website of your own and write about yourself there. For example, you can log on to Facebook and then type in, I love pink fluffy unicorns, and then post it online. Other people will then associate you with loving pink fluffy unicorns. Not only you, but people who know you in real life can write anything about you on the web. For example, this woman who knows Fred wrote that he is very smart online. Because of this, other people on the internet will know that Fred is a smart guy. Also, People with common names such as James, Paul, Sarah, Robert, Matt will be harder to find online compared to people with more unique names. So the internet allows us to have a second identity different or similar to the ones we have in real life. Either you are a person in real life who loves arts and crafts or a person online who loves animals. Both identities are you in the end. using Powtoon.